Welcome, welcome all my home shoppers out there. My name is Omar Pineda, your Austin Realtor with EXP Realty. And today we are in Liberty Hill, Texas in a community called Lariat. And the builder we're looking at is Ashton Woods. And what you see here is an amazing drone shot, which really gives you some perspective. I'm going to pause here. It went a little bit too fast. So you could see just how much future homes are going to be built here. Now, you can see where it's all just dirt that they're leveling. That's, those are future home sites. And you can't really tell because we're in the air. But if you're on the ground level, you can see that where they're, where they're leveling off that dirt is all hills. So this is very hill country-esque in this community that you're getting. And I really hope that once they start building the homes on this hill countryside that they bring back some of the green aesthetic because that's something that I noticed when I first came to visit this community back in earlier this year in january and i came back again uh this month in may of 2024 and you could just see how much future just how much dirt that they're moving because they are building like crazy out here and they're going to be building out here for a while for the next couple years because there are several builders in this community and that are building here now this is their future amenity center that you could see will probably be ready by some by summer this year because all the major components are done. And yes, behind there is a is is a lake, is a pond, is a man-made pond, but it's a, a fishing pond that's catch and release. That's a part of the community, a part of the amenity center. And I like that it's really close side by side. Now here is there's two different kind of collections that Ashton Woods is offering. The cottage collection and that can the other one I can't remember, but I'll, I'll pull that up here in a second. Let me pause this video. I can look it up. The cottages and you have the homestead. Those are two different collections here. And the cottage collection ha is, has different, several different floor plans. But the big kick, the big differentiator here is that it has a rear entry garage that we'll see here in a second. The other collection that's called the homestead, they have a front entry garage, which is very more traditional of what you're thinking of. The rear entry garage i kind of dig it kind of gives it, it, it the aesthetic and the floor plan layout is what really different but i i kind of enjoy it especially the way the, the backyard setup that we'll hear see here towards the end but it's still a very spacious house at, tw at 2377 square feet four beds three baths two-story two-car garage now this right here that we're about to see is a flex space or it can be a home office and the rest of the bedrooms or upstairs so depending if you work from home you could definitely use this as a work from home space and because it has a bathroom adjacent from this bedroom then you could use it as a guest bedroom because they're going to they're going to have the first floor all to themselves because everyone else is going to be upstairs the owner suite and the additional two bedrooms are going to be upstairs along with a nice little loft area for to have a game like a little game room situation yeah it has a nice little loft area so you'll see here, are we getting there yet? The garage? Not yet. But I did fly my drone over this area so you could really see what the rear garage looks like with your neighbors. Because all all the homes on this kind of, with this layout are next to each other, right? They kind of built like these cottages in the middle and think of like the larger homes. So the homestead kind of collection on the, or on the outside perimeter because they're just bigger homes. Right, so that think of that just from a uh, from a general kind of overview, and right now the this the Bill Ashton Woods is offering some pretty amazing incentives, but you have to get pre-approved with their in-house lender. Now here's the backside that just you know to me it's very different having this rear entry back uh, garage, but I can dig it. I can dig it. So that's what it looks like with your neighbors. Again, this is a good perspective from the ground floor. I I did fly my drone over it so you can see what that looks like aerially. But the incentives, the incentives, right? They have all, most builders are offering some type of form of flex cash. Now, how much they're offering is the big differentiator here. But this cash you could use to help pay for your closing costs. You can help pay, buy down that interest rate enough to where you can make your monthly payments affordable. So all you really have to come to the closing table or come with, it's just a down payment of the 3.5% if you're doing FHA or if you're doing conventional, whatever that may be. I've even seen some people pay 5% with the conventional loan it really just depends on your credit score and just your your credit profile and the lender you're working with but these incentives help with the interest rate they help with the closing costs 
and only new builds, new builds are going to be offering this, these types of incentives. And but they're only on select homes, and they're only for a specific amount of time, right? It, and it's always a very short time constraint. They're usually homes that are moving and ready and that need to close within the next 30 to 60 days. So if you're a home buyer and that's your window of time of what you're looking for, then you're then you should be looking and keep at definitely looking at a new build to take advantage of those incentives. But if your timeline is a little bit longer, say three months plus, then and you're at then and you have the funds to you know really get a customized home, so a to be built is what they say is what they call it. Then we could definitely do that too. We could let's schedule a consultation and we could figure out what your criteria is, and see if this community is a good fit for you, right? Because I have a good beat and I am constantly touring all these new build communities. I specialize in new construction, so I every time there's a grand opening uh, all around the Austin area, I try to make it out there and record content and get my drone up top and fly so you guys so my audience can get a really good perspective of what this, not only what the home looks like on the inside but what the surrounding community looks like on the outside especially for these a community perfect like this because you can really see just how much future growth how much future homes that they're going to be building because austin is just gonna is just the mecca for new homes new homes right now and we have so much confidence developers who are developing in the residential space have so much confidence in Austin. That's why we're seeing so much crazy, crazy rapid growth. And in Liberty Hill, in this particular community, you could find homes, affordable homes. Because if you look at Leander, all the homes there have pretty much been, We've I, I think we've kind of hit the very top end of that scale. But here in Liberty Hill, you can still find homes that are somewhat affordable, that are brand new homes by these very so you have Perry Homes, you have Ashton Woods, you have all these amazing amazing builders in this community. I think there's four or five, if I'm not mistaken. I will do a video covering like the general overview of this entire community that I will link in the description. Uh, this will be all of my drone shots kind of compiled all together, but I did get drone shots of all the models and all the builders, so you guys can get a really good feel for what they all look like because they all offer different things. And a few just notes that I really want to to say that i received from the salespeople was that in this community if you look at the map of how to get here you'll see that you have to take highway 29 to the 214 which is that connects you to this community so it's not really very accessible or convenient to get to a major highway but when it's all said and done the roads that they're building for this community will eventually they're going to build a road that connects to 183 directly from this community that you can kind of see towards the beginning of this video. If we're, we'll, we'll, we'll get there once this loops around, but in the very beginning of that video, this so this road right here, where you see those vehicles, that's the highway that's gonna connect you to 183 eventually. We're not there yet, because it's still a very young infant community, but you can see here, here's an amazing shot. You see how the road just ends? They're gonna continue to build in that general direction, or some general direction that connects to 183. But you could just see just how much future home sites they're gonna be building for, for, for Lariat. And again, look at it. it. This used to be all it's, I think this is, I, I consider this hill country and you could really get a sense for it when you're on the ground. It's really hard to tell when you're up in the air, but here again is the amenity center that will be done by this year. I am predicting by this summer cause they're all the major components are done and these builders move fast. The times of having any type of building material constraints or skilled labor restraints are far gone. All construction is moving forward at a very good pace, and the delays are just not there like 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 they used to be. So, if you want to tour this home, you really like this floor plan, call or text me. Or if this floor plan wasn't your style, maybe you want to see the Homestead Collection. I did get a home walkthrough of that that I will link in the description. If not, let's just reach out to me so we can schedule. I mean, the best time so we can have a really meaningful conversation is to do the virtual call. I love doing those because I see it on my calendar. I can prepare for it. And that way, you know, you could see us, we can get some face-to-face -face time and then we can figure out your criteria, see what community is the right fit. Maybe Ashton Wood's a good fit. Maybe Lariat's a good fit. Maybe it's not. But let's just find something that's within your budget that's going to check all the boxes and that's going to be a new build because new builds where it's at. Honestly, you're not going to find a better deal in 2024 or in 2025. And I would even go out on a limb to say 2026. You're not going to find a better deal because these builders, because they have either their own in-house lender or they have partnered with a lender. So I'm sure they've negotiated some some nice just rates and fees between the two parties where 
they are offering buyers financial incentives, financial this flex cash that you can use to help pay for closing costs, buy down that interest rate enough where it makes an impact on your monthly on what your monthly mortgage is going to be. So on top of all that, you get this amazing home warranty. So that's really good peace of mind that you're not going to have any major headaches or any major breakdowns because of the warranty. And um, I will do this in a future episode, but with when it comes to home insurance, home insurance is typically cheaper for new builds because it's a new home compared to resale. So depending on your budget and if it's very tight, those these are all those are the little things that add up that so if you're when you're doing your pros and cons list between a new build and resale, that you should weigh on it to see how much is home insurance gonna be because the roofs. The roofs is a big, big part, uh, especially here in the Austin area, because we do get hail. And roofs is like one of the first things to, it's one of the, I think the highest claims out there is the roofs uh, and, and dealing with hail damage. So again, this is Ashton Woods. We are in the city of Liberty Hill. My name is Omar Pineda, your Austin realtor with EXP Realty. I really appreciate you for watching. Please smash that like button if you if you love this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you like all things new construction. I specialize in new construction in the Austin area, so I'm touring these communities daily. I am going to the grand openings. I am keeping a pulse on like what the new communities are in and around the Austin area, especially because we just have so many moving parts. I just came back from Huddle the other day, and that'll be its own video, but I'm super excited. I can't wait for that to drop. So. Again, I appreciate you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.